My dad Brian was a volunteer at Orpheus for about 11 years. Uh, appropriately enough, he came to the organisation through music. As Dad approached retirement, he thought, this is something that I want to get involved with. So for 11 years, once a week, he would make the journey, um, over 100 miles round trip, to volunteer. And when I said, you know, it's amazing the amount that you give in, 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 of your time. And he said, it's not what I give to the young people, it's what they give to me. The Orpheus Centre is a college which actually concentrates entirely on disabled young people between the ages of 18 to 25 and helping them to find an independence and a security through the arts. It is an incredibly inspiring place. It's full of buzz. The students are rewarding and humbling with their enthusiasm. And because I have been here so long, I've had the privilege of seeing the transformation that comes about with students who perhaps are homesick when they arrive, marginalized, and yet the transforming power of Orpheus turns them into self-confident people ready to face the outside world. That's very rewarding. One of the biggest things that helped me was people were very kind of honest and they were telling me that they have so much faith in me and they can see so much potential uh, with kind of the things I do and the person that I represent and that kind of really gave me a really big confidence boost. Nowhere else um, offers performing arts to the professional standard that we, we offer it. Um, so we work regularly with um, professional artists across different media um, to develop student skills. We take them out on work experiences that are professional work experiences that allow them the opportunities to actually see what it's like working in the industry. Um, and I don't think anywhere else in the country, you know, possibly in the world, offers that. The centre needs to raise about a million pounds each year. And we need your help, however large or however small it is. It isn't possible for everyone to volunteer and, and be a part of the place uh, physically, but there are so many other ways in which you can help Orpheus. Donations, of course, uh, supporting events, and leaving something in your will to ensure that the place will continue. And you don't even have to change your will, you can just add an amendment. In our conversations as Dad was, was facing the end, it was very clear that he wanted to support Orpheus in death just as he had done in life. And he wanted to leave some money to the organisation. I know that leaving money to Orpheus in his will was something that was very important to him to know that he was continuing to support the organisation in death just as he had done in life. And I know for me it's the happiest I've ever been giving money away. I sing the world to silence I calm the ocean's rage Poseidon's angry violence I assume There was one student who I think I will always remember, he played a very key role. He had great communication problems. And somebody once said to him, don't you wish you could walk and talk? And his answer was, through his communicator, I can sing and dance. And Orpheus allowed him to do just that. Please help empower the next generation to take centre stage. Sometimes all that's needed is a song. No point in trying a gentle word. A nervous whistle won't be heard. But seeing an anthem and the man the monsters fear will appear.